extended project qualification or the EPQ. Um, a bit like a dissertation, so we just choose a subject that we think we'd be interested in studying and do loads of research and um, put together a, an essay about it, really. Um, when we began the project, I visited Manchester University as part of the introduction to the studying, and in February I completed my presentation uh, where I presented my EPQ and played some music to demonstrate it. Well, it's a standalone qualification in itself, so it will improve my chances of getting into a better university. Um, you can get an A star in it as well. Um, it's been of great benefit because it's been something to write in my personal statement for a start that um, kind of makes me stand out a bit from everybody else because it's quite a unique topic. Well, we were given an essay in December after we'd had mock interviews, like Oxford style interviews. Um, that led into a tutorial where it was two students and an Oxford Don who sort of gave us feedback on the essay. And after that, in February and March, we had six seminars. So um, there's a lot of preparatory reading involved. Uh, we did um, six seminars. Uh, which you have to do preparatory reading for each one. Subjects like uh, economics, politics, history, uh, science, philosophy, literature. And then following that, in April, we went down to London for four days to do a Easter school, which had some study skills sessions, and then we did um, some study with uh, Cambridge and Oxford undergrads. Um, also, I had to do um, a talk on, on a Science Week um, which was 12 minutes long, which helped me develop my um, communication skills, which was really helpful. I want to go to university to study um, biological science or biology, um, so at the minute I'm looking into universities, and doing this programme linked with Oxford has sort of given me the confidence to apply for Oxford, whereas before it probably wouldn't, I wouldn't have done because it's just made it seem more accessible.